This is Marcy and Connie here from 1033 Main Salon and Spa in beautiful Mumford, New York. Today we're going to show you an updo that is quick and simple. I've done a little bit of prep work, so what I've done, I want to show you the sectioning. I've taken two little panels on each side. We're going to do some braiding there. But Connie has some little pieces in the front that are shorter, uh, more in this area. So instead of trying to incorporate those in the, in the braiding and worry about the ends poking out, we just pulled those back in a mohawk section into the ponytail, which I did already go through with a curling iron to give it a little control. So we're going to start out with the, um, with the updo part of it. And I'm going to take this ponytail and we're going to do a very quick bun. I'm going to split into the middle of the ponytail here and just reach all the way through with my fingers and I'm going to grab the ponytail and pull that all back through and that's going to anchor it for me. Just bring it all the way through and then we can pull it down tight again and I'm going to then We'll gather this together. In fact, let me grab a comb. And pull that all together into one piece. I don't want it to be splitting and all that. I want it all together, which is why we put the curling in. It gives it a little more control that way. If you really want to go big on this, you can um, also put some teasing in it. But I'm just going to do this and fold it over and roll it forward over that ponytail holder. And that gives me a nice little bun here. I'm going to secure this with some bobby pins and hold it in place. We'll just anchor it for right this second. Now I want to go back because we split that ponytail. I'm just going to take a little time to smooth that back out back here so it'll look nice from the back as well as from the front. I'm just going to pull that together. I'm going to spend a little time now getting this ponytail or this uh, bun section pinned into place. So instead of making you watch me play with bobby pins, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off now and we'll come back when I have this situation. The bun, all I did was pin it all in place and put a little spray over it for good hold. Uh, this is the same technique that we used in another video we did if you want to look back through our videos on a faux French roll. Only at that time we placed it vertically here on the back of the head. We've just done the same thing at the crown. We've got a nice piece. Now we're going to work with these pieces up at the front. And I'm going to just put in a little bit of braiding. Connie's actually going to wear this hairdo tonight. She's going to a little dance. and. Uh, the dress that she's wearing does have some nice ruffles on it. So we want to introduce a little texture into the hairdo as well that will echo the ruffles on her dress a little bit. So I'm just going to do some braiding here and I split that just to make it a little easier to work with as I come up. So I'm going to start, start a little braid and I'm under braiding because uh, that will let it stand out on the head. And now I've got that in place. I can start incorporating a little hair as I work my way up. Do you have to braid this? Of course not. It's just what we're doing to work with Connie's dress tonight. You could just bring these pieces straight up and into a ponytail if you want and it would be fine. Or you could try different uh, braiding techniques because braiding is so popular right now. I'm just going to Go ahead and bring that in. You do want to braid up rather than do a braid and bring it up because if you do that, you do tend to get a funny bend in the hair where, where you're uh, redirecting it directionally. All right, so there we go. Got a little carried away. So we just have a little braiding there. give it some interest. I'm going to braid it up a little more than I need to. That's 
going to make it a little more convenient to work with later. But here we just have that little bit of braiding. And I can just set that down. I'm going to slip a clip over it to keep it from unraveling. All I'm going to do now is do the same thing on the other side. And what we've done is the, the uh, bun in the back, the two braids coming up, and I put them in a ponytail. I just put a little curl on the end because um, I'm going to need a little better control later on. So now I'm going to take this. If you want to do a nice big blousey floppy bow, uh, you, this at this point I would put some teasing in here for volume and aeration. But we're going to keep it a little smaller. This kind of is going dancing and we want to make sure it's going to hold up to the dancing and still look like a bow. So all I'm going to do is take another rubber band and uh, introduce that to the strand. Hello strand. <laughs> and we're going to just pull some of the hair through on the second pass. We want to keep it kind of small. So I want to at this point kind of check and check my size and I think that looks good. What do you think? So we're going to just do that. We're going to take these ends and pass them through the little gap. So it's similar to what we did with the first step here. We're going to pass those through so they're hanging in the front and tighten this down. We need a grip on it. And I want to divide it about in half. Pull that down to tighten it up. I can uh, pull some of that back through if I need to. And now we're going to just Pull these open a little bit so that it becomes a bow. There we go. And I'm going to hit it with a little bit of hairspray to hold. And also um, come in here and pin it down a little bit just for security's sake. So it's not just up in the atmosphere. Same thing over here. Just going to grab a pin and bring it down slide the pin in. I actually want to pull the braiding back a little bit too so I'll catch some of that as well. Just slide that back, pull my pieces out so we get the bow that we're after, and a little hairspray to hold it in position. And I'm using White Tea Embrace Luxury Hold Spray. This is a holding spray so um, it's going to give it a stronger hold than a design spray or a working spray would. It's a good finishing spray also. So I'm going to go over that with a little bit of spray, fan it out where I want it, and get my placement. Same thing over here. Try not to get kind of in the eye this time. Because I've been known to do that. And just place that as I want it. I'm checking in the mirror. I think it looks cute. What do you think? You like it, Kenny? Now, you actually could even conceivably just leave this piece down to drape. You don't necessarily need to go into the whole thing. But we want to get a definite bow. So what we're going to do is take this piece and fold it back on itself. I'm even tucking some of the length into the middle of the bow because it is a lot of hair for me to just double over. And so I'm doubling that over and bringing it through the middle. And then I'm going to tuck it behind the bow. And this is really where we're going to get our bow to stand up. And uh, grab some pins here. Whoops, I'm throwing things. I'm going to secure that piece and then I'm going to work again a little bit on uh, making sure I'm happy with the placement. Some of these ends here. Okay popping up. So I want to get another pin on there to hold that down. A little trouble picking up a pin. Alright, and we're just going to hold this down in the same spot. In fact, I'm going to crisscross the bobby pin that I put in there before. This gives it a little more security. And there she is. Nice little bow. I'm going to give it a little spray. Let me check it from the front here. We actually could tuck another pin in here for a little bit more. Just a little more definition. You definitely want it to get smaller in the middle 
and bow out on the side. So you kind of want to watch that you're getting some definition in the middle. So it looks like a little package. Very cute. And just tuck that down. And a little bit of more spray. And bring it out a little bit more. Give it a little more lift. A little bit right there in the center. Just going to smooth it all down. One more pin, I think we'll complete our look. I just want, I don't want this all bunched up here in the, in the little gap between that and the bun. So I'm just going to tuck that down a little more. Beautiful. That is cute. And there all she right. is in the dress with the ruffles. Go ahead and do a turn. There's her little, her little bow hairdo. You look great, Caddy. So, look great, feel great, have a great day, and thanks for watching.